Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are on day four. Technically day four since we left the house, but day three of shed hunting. Yeah. And uh, hasn't been going that great as far as numbers go. But we've we found some new country. We've seen some awesome stuff. I've got a place that I'm definitely going back to, as reluctant as my wife is about it. I'm gonna go back because I I know there's got to be stuff in there. We just we gotta narrow it down. Process of elimination in some country, and a lot of this country out here is all it's all elky. It's just what canyon are they in this year? You know yeah. when they drop. So yes, can't sir. get discouraged. Yes. You can't let it get you down. You can't just up and move 600 miles away like we have been. But on yes, top of it, we, yes, we did. yeah, we're we're just checking out new country, so yeah, got another hotel room last night in Ely. It was um, between the last two hotels, it was kind of right in the middle. wasn't as nice as the Motel Six, but it was better than the one in. Uh, yeah, it was better than the first one. The first one was so Wendover. Uh, so ghetto. ghetto. Yeah, it was pretty it was bad. bad. Like it was the stereotypical worst case scenario <laughs> of a hotel room. Yeah. Last night, the one last night wasn't much better. It was better, but it wasn't much better. Yeah. Um, the hot water heater lasted for like a total of five minutes. I didn't even get to use it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And you didn't shower? No, because you sat on the toilet with the shower running forever. <laughs> so no, I didn't. <laughs> I like to see in the bathroom, but it's good for my sinuses. There's some dirt right there. Out in the field. I'd show you guys, but you can't really see them now. Plus, yeah. I got some growth on my head. Yeah, some buckets. Sweet. All right. So yeah. Well, I'm glad to see that there's no snow where we're headed. Yeah, I woke up to snow this morning. Yeah, I know, it's like, we can't, like, at home, it's freaking 500 degrees, and <laughs> yeah, we go after here. sheds, and it's snowing. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah, that's spring. Oh, alright, so, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully we're picking up some sheds. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Alright, later. Here we go. Saturday, we're all packed up, loaded up, and we're taking off. Truck's back there about 25 yards, and we're up here about 25 yards. Maybe 30 now, probably walked five yards since I started this. Fingers crossed that this hasn't been hit already, and uh, we can get into some sheds. All right, what's up guys? We are a few minutes in, probably, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes maybe, max. And I just hit this little burn section and we got a shed. Heck yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's white too. It looks white, maybe it's just brown. It's been washed out already. Been on the ground a little bit. Man, that is a brown shed. That is a light colored brown shed. Wow. Cool. Well, let's uh, keep swinging around. Maybe we can find another or a couple more, match this up. Oh, hallelujah, guys. He's not big, but it is an elk shed. And man, I couldn't be more grateful right now after the time that we have had. We, I'm sorry, my gloves in the way. We have had three days out here hoping to find some browns, but man, we've been struggling. Josh has found a brown and I've found a hard white. And this is the spot I picked. And he was like, no, it's not a good spot. I just found another oak shed. 
Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to keep finding things. That helps so tremendously in your motivation and your morale to keep going. Even though you gotta still keep going when you're not having the best of luck because you never know when you're gonna come around that corner and boom, there they are. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This helps my morale quite a bit. Yes. There we are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we got another. Looks like a little freak bull. Super freaky little bull. Look at that thing. What the heck? What do you got going on? <laughs> that thing's cool. Stand up. That's cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of this goofy little guy. Hey guys, I think I just found his other side. Woohoo! Can I peel through this a little bit extra? The nice thing about elk is generally they drop pretty close to each other. I mean, there are times where they can get far apart from their match, but I think elk are uh, more likely to drop close than deer. Woohoo! Thank you, man. Love it. I love it. I love it. Wait, I just glassed up a shed. It's pretty far away, so I gotta get start walking. And it's right by a road. Yes. All right, we made it over to it. Hoping that uh, I'll find his match while I'm walking up to it. We will see. And it turned out to be a super good day. And I was very skeptical as far as not the area, because I picked it, but just the fact that we've kind of had a slow last few days. So I wasn't getting my hopes up too high. Thank you, thank you. I gotta set down all my stuff. Cool. It's the biggest one I've found so far. So that makes me happy. <sighs> all right. I got them all strapped onto my backpack. As you can see. And it's starting to pick up on the snow, so I got to start moving and finding uh, more sheds before I'm in a full-on whiteout. Hopefully it's not going to do that. <laughs> All right, so I was just uh, across the canyon over here up on this ridge, just kind of glassing, glassing the bottom, the whole hillside, this burn, this hidden another little patch of burn here. So super glassable and I'm pretty sure I got two antlers glassed up on this hillside. I've made it over to it, but now it's that dreaded trying to find them. So I got to try to figure out where, because it, it always looks different when you, when you finally get over here. I actually thought this draw right here was a little bit deeper. I couldn't see it. For
front because I got this little hill in my, in my way, but I thought this was actually deeper, so I'm a little thrown off as to where I'm at, but got a little carcass right there. I think I was up on this hill right about here, so we're gonna check this out. Let you guys know when I find them. All right, I got one found. Pretty sure. This might be, this might be the second one. So I should have one more that way, but there it is. Hard white, last year's antler, young bull. Cool little drop down front. Heck yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's keep looking for the other one. All right, found the shed, I, uh, the other one I glassed up. A little, little brown, we'll take it. Look at that front, just dive down like that. That's pretty cool. A goofy little bull. That's this year's brown too. Heck yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, as, as I was walking up here to this, I spotted that across the draw, right dead center, which is cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're gonna loop around in here for a minute. It's not a very big burn. It's not a very big burn, but uh, it's there's enough uh, feed and, and cover with brush and stuff that be some more horns laying in here that we just can't see eventually we'll get into something a little bigger just the nature of it or this just could be a little bull country we, I, I don't know we'll see two more to add on the pack though all right we're just getting up here to this uh, one across the canyon now I mean, it's a little better bull. Still a fairly young bull, but a little bit better size. And that is a hard white. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm take a couple pics of that one. And uh, we'll keep going. Well, today's, uh, today's definitely been better than yesterday and the day before so just gotta keep going gotta keep pushing don't give up see you guys in a bit all right we're just gridding this uh gridding this draw it's got a burn in it we got another all little bulls still That one's a couple years old. That thing's chalk. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll take it. No complaints here. Just keep uh, keep gridding this. Ooh. Fall down. All right, so I was just walking this rim right here. It's working down. Still working this little burn. And uh, I look down off the edge, big old white antler. This thing, uh, I don't know how big it is. It's, it's big compared to everything else I've found. It will definitely be the biggest antler of the day. Or the trip even. Um, <laughs> pretty cool bull. He looks like he's got a cool look to him. Not a giant, but still, like I said, the biggest antler I've found so far. Sweet. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, last year's. Last year's brown. I'm going to keep working this finger. I'm going to start working over to where Britt's at, too. She's quite a ways north of me. We kind of split this country in half. So, I'm go figure out and see if I can get her on the radio and see how she's doing. I haven't heard from her in a bit. All right, we got a little brownie, it looks like. Might be broken. And we got hail coming down. There, I could see the tines sticking up. Broken brown with a caterpillar on it. Cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, little dude? We got another. I almost walked right by this one, looking over the top of it. Out in the wide open, even. Hard white. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Last year's brownie. All right. Britt's coming up the other side, bottom of this draw. I'm just working the top end, and then I'm going to work down it. All right, we're loaded down. And uh, we're heading out. It's about 6.30, 7 o'clock right in there. We got a little walk back to the truck, but not too bad. Yeah. Good day. Was, and you said it wasn't. She don't so know what she's talking need to about. So tell everybody at home right now, I've already told them on my video, so they'll, they'll know. <laughs> but what did you say today? That my spot that I picked was not good. And I just wanted to go hit more of that country we were in because I was we getting really intrigued. Anything. Really intrigued, yeah. but yeah, she won. We went to her spot. Looks like it paid off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. One more on the way out. Wonder how many are laying out in this stage brush. I know, huh? I'm gonna look around and see if there's other sides. Okay. A little hard white. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gosh, little bowls, little bowls, little bowls. I'm gonna look around in this stage for a minute. Okay guys, we made it back to the truck finally. And this is our haul from just today. Yeah. It's a place that I picked. <laughs> and this is that. from the place is place says Josh picked. Dun. Dun. And he wanted to go back to <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay, <laughs> so we are all done. This is the end to an awesome trip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Highlight of the trip, that ginormous spike set. Those bases are like <laughs> the uniform. huge. Who matches up spikes? This guy right here. With pink. So, highlight of the trip. Good job, babe. Thanks. So, yeah, we're gonna load up and get going.